Hello guys, welcome back to BlackBronze.com and today I'm gonna show you how to do infinite looping poster type in Cinema 4D. So let's get started. First, we're gonna create a spline. Go up here and then choose pen. But before that you need to enable snap and you need to turn on the plane snap and also turn on grid point snap so your spline will snap to the grid point go to the front view we're going to draw some shape here Okay, alright, perfect. We need to select this point and then let chamfer it. Right click here and then select chamfer. For radius, I set to 100 centimeter. Okay. Next, you need to create a plane. Go to the mesh menu here. Select plane. And then for height, I set to 250 centimeters. And width segment, I set to 250. Okay. Right now, we need to deform this plane, follow the spline shape. Go to the deformer menu here, select spline wrap. Put a spline wrap under the plane. And then you need to drag our spline shape to spline here okay I think the duration is not correct we need to adjust the rotation for the spline wrap go to coordinate tab and then change to rotation P to 90% okay next we need to create materials double click here just drag to the plane okay let's set up our materials first you need to disable colors and reflectance and then you need to enable luminance and also alpha okay for the luminance let's choose our texture here I got my own design you can use Photoshop to design these stats this is a PNG version okay and alpha also you need to use PNG file which is, is transparent for the background don't worry it's stretched right now you need to adjust it go to length you set to 10% now look better Okay, for this tutorial, I would like to use Redshift for my render engine. So right now, I need to convert my standard material to Redshift material. Select this material, go to Redshift, under Materials, go Tools, and then Convert and Replace Materials. Okay, so Redshift will help you to convert standard material to Redshift materials. Let's preview this render. Go to Redshift menu up here and then select Render View. Hit Render here so you can see here. For this situation, I would like to make this top is white color and down here is a black color. So here's some tricks. Go to materials. Here the shady graph. Okay. First, you need to delete 
these two nodes. Okay, then you need to use you need to use raise switch nodes. Connect this node to raise switch. Go to camera under the camera. Select camera color. You need to connect back raise switch node to output. This for white color. So to make black color for the bottom, you need to select these two nodes and then duplicate it. By hold control and drag to down here. Okay, you need to connect back this one to ray switch nodes. Go camera and then select camera, camera color back. Okay, for this one, I want to use a black color, so I change this texture. Alright. Nothing happened, don't worry. Because you need to change this setting here. Enable front and back. Okay. We're missing one more node, which is sprite. Just type here sprite. Okay. Connect a switch node to sprite. Show the input and use input. And connect back our sprite to output. Okay. For sprite nodes, you need to set our texture for alpha. Select black texture. Okay. From here, opacity calculation, you need to change from color intensity to from alpha i know it's some buggy here don't worry just refresh it then you good to go next we need to lighten this scene you need to go to redshift menu up here and then go to light i use a dome light here okay you can choose any color but for this tutorial i change color to red Okay, now look better. And then next, you need to set up for ray. Disable this one. We don't need this one. And also go to shadow tab. And then disable for shadow. We don't need a shadow. Right now, let's set our camera. Go to right shift. Camera and... I use standard here. Almost finish. For the last one, we need to animate our text. So select our text tag here and then go to first frame. I set this to, to 200 frame. I set the keyframe offset U0 here for first frame and I go to the last frame. I set to 100%. Okay. Let's play one animation. All 
right now you will notice that our animation get acceleration and deceleration i don't want that one i want the animation is linear to adjust it you need to go to offset view right click go to animation and then show f curve so here you can see our animation graph we need to change to linear animation by click here all right everyone thank you so much for watching hopefully you guys learned some cool techniques as always we make sure to check out others tutorial in my channel don't forget to hit subscribe button and hit notification bell to get the latest update from me thank you guys and we see you next time